So hello everybody. Um, thanks so much for uh, joining today. So um, I decided to do um, something a little bit different uh, with uh, with uh, these streams uh, just because of my hair. <laughs> just because um, I've noticed that uh, people have uh, actually watched the beginning of the stream, but then uh, you know maybe it's just because it's a bad time of the day or or something they don't hang out to write. So. What I'll do is I'll, I'll split this in two. I'll um, have my sort of first uh, sort of topic for the stream uh, during the first five minutes, um, and then I'll I'll cut it and then uh, get back into a new stream for writing. Uh, the reason for this is that if you know if people just want to check out the the advice or insight um, after the. Um, after this uh, after uh, you know after the stream in the recordings then you know they don't have like a half hour video uh, to to go through okay so that's what uh, we will do and today i have a, a really uh, exciting uh, topic uh, that i want uh, to share with you and this is how to use um fiction how to use fiction to to write and i actually want to tell you about um two uh two great people two very different people um, one is uh, Brandon Sanderson, who's um, uh, a New York Times bestseller, uh, who writes uh, science, uh, 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 writes well, he writes science fiction, fantasy. He has books on fantasy and books on science fiction. And um, then Dr. Uh, Vic uh, Turbine, um, who is a, a, a former academic. Um, whose uh, work I, I enjoyed very much uh, wh when she was an academic, but I enjoy even more uh, what um, Dr. Turbine uh, does now, which is she has this amazing um, set of, um, uh, of you know, coaching. Um, she has basically this great coaching platform for, for writing, and she really also picks up on this, uh, on this idea of, uh, um, of um, you know how to use fiction uh, to improve your academic writing okay so first i will tell you um, how fiction improved my academic writing and it did so in in, in three ways first um, i i write qualitative research and in qualitative research the the decision on revise or resubmit is based on the quality of your data i have seen papers like i remember i saw a, a paper on control uh, that uh, i mean like literally the authors must have not this must have been the first time they were writing on the topic and they the, the sense was that you know they didn't they didn't they didn't even like read the literature on control so they m might have read about control in their own field but they didn't really uh, read the literature on control but their data was just amazing and this was a you know a top top three um is uh, journal for which i was reviewing, uh, reviewing this paper you know and and both me and the other reviewers said you know yeah revise and resubmit is amazing uh, you know just 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 please like can you read research on control <laughs> you know and i'm sure you'll get a great paper that paper has um, since been published in in that journal so made me made me super happy that i was able to to contribute to that so the story the data really you know it is really what sells and um you know and any and in fiction you know character character is paramount you really you know get in love with uh with with, with characters and uh and and not you know with uh with uh, frodo or i don't know uh brandon Sand uh, sanderson has this this great uh, characters as well in in his books you know all of these characters that you you really fall in love with and you know and 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 the idea of how to build a plot and and, and plot devices i really learned a lot in, in in writing technique what to write what to write first what to write second um wh uh, what uh, interview quotes to choose what observation quotes to choose from brandon brandon sanderson's lectures on writing science fiction and fantasy the great thing is that uh, while Brandon Sanderson uh, lectures at, um, at, at BYU, 
Brigham Young University in the United States. And his lectures are all online. You can just sit down for 10 hours and, and, uh, and watch this and, and learn immensely. I learned so much uh, with these lectures. I cannot really cannot recommend it, recommend them enough. There's, there's stuff also about um, the, um, the market uh, selling books and so on, which uh, I also found interesting as an academic, you know, trying to also uh, write a, a couple of books, not fiction. But, uh, but yeah, but I, I really found this, this class is super, super interesting. So if you just go on uh, YouTube and search for, uh, well, I just search for Brandon Sanderson classes, but here's the title of the, the playlist, 2020 Creative Writing Lectures at BYU, you'll find this, this playlist and, uh, you know, it's really amazing. And obviously do feel uh, free to get in touch with me if you cannot uh, uh, find this and, you know, I'll be uh, willing to or happy to share the links with you guys. Okay. Now, Vic Turbine, I, 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 Dr. Vic Turbine, I don't, I don't remember. I, I came across a summer of her work when I was, uh, uh, you know, I have a, a paper on, on, uh, uh, on, on gender and so on. I came across uh, some of her work, but um, I, I think I, I really, you know, sort of like connected online with her um, uh, during this, uh, this event uh, called uh, NaNoWriMo. And I'll discuss NaNoWriMo in, uh, I can discuss it tomorrow um, and tell you how it has helped my, my writing as well. And, but I, I discovered uh, Dr. Uh, Vic uh, Turbine uh, there as a, as a fellow academic, as a fellow writer. And um, uh, during that time, uh, Dr. Turbine uh, transitioned into, um, into out of academia and into this, this really great career as, as a coach. Now, um, I, I, I haven't uh, been, been coached by her. I haven't worked with her uh, directly because um, she's primarily, as she says, I have here her, her page. Um, she's primarily uh, uh, working with, uh, with women and helping women overcome the specific challenges that all of the inequalities that we have, uh, not only in society at large, but in academia, impose on, uh, on uh, women's academic success and academic contributions. So she, she mostly uh, uh, works um, with, uh, with women. So, you know, so I haven't, uh, I haven't done any, any coaching with her, but, you know, I, I do f uh, follow her, um, her Twitter, her Instagram, and I really get, you know, a lot of, a lot of inspiration, a lot of support, um, you know, and, and just, I would say like, you know, uh, the vast majority, if not all of her advice, uh, really applies to, uh, you know, to, to academics in general, you know, about how to find, find joy in writing. She has some great ideas about how to, um, do, use uh, uh, creative writing uh, for this or uh, to writing uh, uh, fiction for this. I, I don't do that personally, uh, uh, but, uh, you know, but, but I see how compelling uh, it, it can be. And again, just with, with all of the, uh, with how much I learned from Brandon Sanderson, I, I, I do think that, uh, that Dr. Turbine has a, has a huge po uh, point there. But anyway, um, um, but she's definitely somebody you you should follow she's just launching her uh a podcast today called the uh, revisions uh, not on on, on apple uh, yet but you can find it on her website but really you know somebody that has learned a lot from uh, uh fiction writing and that shares what uh, she has learned so if if you go to to brandon sanderson's uh, course and you're not really sure uh what to make of it Obviously, I'm happy to help and discuss. I already told you what, how, what I learned personally, but, um, but um, Dr. Turbine would, would, would be, I would say, more of a systematic resource uh, uh, for that, okay? So I just wanted to share uh, these two uh, resources um, with you. Again, you can find uh, Brandon Sanderson's courses on, uh, uh, by going on YouTube and searching 2020 Creative Writing Lectures at BYU. Um, and uh, you can find the Dr. Uh, Victor Bynes uh, website at uh, victorbynes.podia.com um, uh, and, and you can see it here uh, on, the, 
uh, on the toolbar of uh, of uh, my screen. Okay, so I hope uh, uh, I hope these uh, are, are are useful for you guys. Um, obviously, you know. I don't get a commission either from Dr. Victor Bynum or from Brendan Sanderson. I, you know, these are just uh, super helpful resources for um, uh, super helpful resources for me and you know people that um, at different scales I, I think are worth uh, are, are worth supporting. Uh, but uh, you know, let me know if you if you if you find these useful and uh, and how. Uh, okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going uh, to end the stream so that we have a, a, a ten minute stream for people to check if they're just interested on uh, this uh, topic, uh, and then I'll uh, put the stream up back and I'll I'll be writing. Uh, obviously, I'll be live commenting while while I write if you want to stick uh, stick for that. But if you just want to, you know, just keep me company virtually and uh, write yourself, uh, feel free to do so. Okay. So hope you enjoyed the the little tip for today and uh, have a great day. Bye.